Hong Kong is a city that Kevin Yam has loved for most of his life. I feel very, very sad because uh, it's the place that basically gave me everything. And uh, to say that I can never go back uh, uh, is absolutely devastating. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr Chairman. He appeared in front of the US Congressional Commission on China earlier this year from Australia. But actually, everything's pretty rotten to the core. Mr Yam believes this motivated Hong Kong National Security Police to announce a reward of around 190,000 Australian dollars for information leading to his arrest and prosecution. The bounty that's out against me is actually like 10 times more than a number of sex offenders who are on the run. We'll be pursuing the abscondee's criminal responsibilities for life until they surrender themselves. Following months of anti-government protests in Hong Kong, the national security law was introduced in 2020. It criminalises succession, subversion, terrorism and collusion with maximum penalties of life in prison. And since the implementation of the national security law of Hong Kong, our department uh, has totally arrested uh, 260 individuals. Former Hong Kong lawmaker and now Australian resident Ted Hoy has also been named alongside six others based in the UK and the US. In a way, I, I believe that CCP, the regime, is threatened by all of our actions outside. That's why it has to return with some threat towards us personally. The Foreign Minister Penny Wong says the Australian government will support those here who exercise freedom of expression. Kathleen Coldwood, ABC News.